Greetings, dear viewers. I played some Dark Souls 3 this morning, invaded some other players' games, maybe my game got invaded a few times, and well, let's take a look at some of what happened this morning. Now one thing I want to talk about in this first duel is how this player has gone for a tank build, and I really respect that. Uh, I don't think I've seen this weapon before, I'm not 100% certain, but I don't think I've seen this weapon before, so I'm playing it cautiously. I want to see what he can do. I see that he's using the skill here, and it's uh, creating this flame burst, so I'm stepping back, trying to make sure I can do what I can. I decided to move in at this point, though, having seen that he's used it a couple of times and missed. I don't think he's going to try to go for it again, necessarily. So I move in using the front step R1 combo to try and apply as much pressure as I possibly can. He gets a couple of good swings off on me and kicks me in the corner. Instead of continuing his R1 assault, which may very well have kept me staggered enough for one more hit, I'm not sure, but I was cornered. But the kick did buy me some time to get out. Either way, he does get a great bit of damage off on me here. With that huge axe, my blue tear stone ring kicks in. And here I actually go for a weapon art parry. He doesn't actually swing, so nothing comes of that. And I switch to one hand here so that I can parry with the Cestus. But he gives me the opportunity to guard break him by using my repeated flurry of R1s with a one-handed katana move. Uh, and because the one-handed attack on the katana is so fast, uh, it makes him feel like he can't lower his shield, which is what let me break his guard and then follow up for that really big damaging attack. And from here, it's just a matter of once again using front step R1 uh, repeatedly to make sure he doesn't get the breathing room he needs to S this up. And that will, that will finish up that duel. And this is really all I wanted to show this morning, besides one more clip. This is, there, there are two things I wanted to show, actually, now that I think about it. But uh, these two things are really all I wanted to show. I'm going to go ahead and leave you with this second duel. I think it speaks very well for itself. Hope you folks enjoyed this. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you folks next time.